Next question is from Braden Same. How do I get bigger forearms? Oh, yeah. Good old forearms. Milk cows. Question. Milk cows. That's, <laughs> that's what you did, right? That's for right. a long time. Look at, oh, shit. Rapid squeezing. Yeah. Yeah. That flat. I saw you on Instagram. Yeah, just little, throwing little jabs at your you. Your little over. veiny flex there. That was yeah, really yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Um, I don't even know. Yeah. So <laughs> forearms are like any other muscle. So you want to train them uh, in order to build them. You have to train them through a full range of motion, different rep ranges. Some of the best forearm exercises, a lot of people are just not familiar with. Like one of my favorite forearm exercises, especially for the the top of the forearm, this kind of meaty, you know, uh, you know, brachioradialis muscle here on the top of the elbow. Reverse curls uh, with with the thumb under the bar, a tight grip, um, with an easy curl bar. Like practice those. At one point, oh, yeah. I prioritized forearm training. This had more to do with with grappling than it go did with, light. <laughs> if you first. haven't done those, you know, for because yes. like yeah, it would be, it'd been years since I did that. I remember. Oh my god, you just did it that long ago, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Start easy because but, yeah. this is gonna be a tough one. You know, I I went on a kick where I was you know all about training my forearms, and to be honest, the 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 most success I've had with developing my forms actually, believe it or not, was not really focusing on developing my forms. It was doing heavy deadlifts and farmer carries. Mm -hmm. And I was a great exercise. Yeah, yeah, but they were not, I wasn't doing them because I was like, I want to build my forearm. So I'm going to do farmer. They just had to keep up with your back. They had to keep up. I mean, when I was progressing my, my deadlift from, you know, originally like 200 and something pounds to getting all the way up to 550, boy, did my forearms grow to keep, and the strength of them, the size of yeah. them, mm -hmm. and then also things like farmer carries, as you progress that weight, if you could hold on and carry four or 500 plus pounds across the gym while you're holding on to a bar, I promise you those forearms yeah. will yeah. grow. You're, no you're, wrist straps. Yeah, you're bringing up a good point. A lot of times the reason why people's forearms are lagging isn't because they're not training the forearms, it's because they're protecting their their forearms from doing a lot of work yep. by wearing you know wrist straps that's a big one like mm -hmm. i you know i've trained uh clients who had long histories of working out and i would tell them we're going to put the wrist straps away and they were blown away by how much their forearms responded it's like well yeah every back exercise you do your hands have to keep up and because you're wearing this thing that holds on to the bar for you or the, the dumbbell for you your forearms are well, not it, required. It, it kind of reminds me of the last question we just talked about with developing your glutes. You know, you feel you can do these forearm exercises where you really feel it in your forearms, but if you end up doing all these little, you know, wrist curls with ten pounds, I mean, I it, you you can do wrist curls with ten pounds every day for your forearms, but I guarantee you, if you if you progress your deadlift and you get a hundred pound heavier deadlift, that will develop your forearms more than that direct hit. Yeah, the the, the mass builders for the forearms are uh, heavy deadlifts, farmer walks, you know, gripping and Pull pulling ups, yeah. heavy things. Then you have your kind of like your exercises that you can pump the muscle, you can add more volume without tons of damage, which include wrist curls, either where you're going in the reverse or in the front. I like them behind the back. That's an exercise I'll do sometimes. But reverse curls, that's a great one. I got to the point where I was able to reverse curl as much as I could, you know, supinated curl. That really did a number on my forearm. So don't wear wrist wraps and add a few exercises at the end of your workout to your forearms. And they will respond, you know, just like any other muscle. And here's the thing about forearms. It, we instinctively, this is funny too, when they do these polls, they'll ask women like, what body parts on men do you find the most attractive? Hands and forearms is always up there. Mm -hmm. And I think it's because instinctively we know if you have if you have weak hands and weak forearms, it really doesn't matter how muscular you are, in the real world, you can't hold on to shit. So you actually don't have tons of strength. And if you've ever, you know, wrestled with an uncle or your dad, or you've ever, you know, shook someone's hand that worked in blue collar labor. <laughs> And you're just like, this person is just yeah. strong and they look strong. It's because of their hands and their forearms. And again, we, you know, we're primates. Our hands, although they're very, you know, we can move small things with small details and we're very, very intricate with our movement. Still, again, we evolve from primates. We should have hands that can support any weight that our body can lift. And the fact that we constantly avoid that, that's one of the main reasons why people's forearms lag.